Hi everyone, welcome to Heaven Healing in Tarot. This is Christina, and today's pick a card is Are They the One? Times three. Take three. <laughs> I'm so discombobulated from messing up the first video. But anyway, let me send out some healing. Maybe that'll clear it all up. Ready? Here we go. Take a deep breath. All right, so we want to have a, somebody in mind, somebody that we're with, somebody we want to be with, somebody we used to be with, or even if it's somebody we don't know, like the next person that I date, will they be the one? You can even ask that. Just have that intention in your mind when you pick your pile. All right, so pile one, we have red jasper. Pile two, we have clear quartz. And pile three, we have lapis lazuli. So take a moment, pick the pile you are most drawn to. Pause the video if you have to, because I'm going to get started with pile one. Okay, pile one, you chose red jasper. Then let's uh, take a peek. Let's see. Five of wands, page of swords, the sun, ten of wands, Ten of Cups. Nice. All right. Um, this person's conflicted. Are they the one? They could be. But they're conflicted. I don't think that they know enough. I think that they would have to learn more before they would say yes. So, um, you know, if this is somebody you're with, they're still getting to know you. There's, there's things they really like about you, things that they're not so sure about. Maybe there's some red flags. I don't know. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. This one's in, this one's in, this one they're a little conflicted, but I do feel like in the end, this could be uh, a very long lasting, happy relationship. It could be a very successful one. So I think somebody might be conflicted at first, but I think as soon as they learn more or they get to know you more, I think, uh, yeah, it might take some work. Uh, Ten of Wands, that's some heavy burdens that somebody's carrying. So maybe that's part of the reason why they're conflicted. Like maybe somebody has a child they're responsible for and somebody might not know if they want to get involved with that, someone who has a child. There's, there's some kind of a burden here. All right. So they're, they're a little conflicted, but I do think that in the end, they could very well be the one. I do think that you guys would find happiness together. You would just, it would take some work or some kind of compromise here. But I think at first or or I think, like, you know, they're, they're trying to figure it out. I think they're trying to learn more, uh, trying to get to know you better, uh, trying to, you know, they're testing the waters. But I do think in the end, this would be a great connection. So let's get some more cards and see if uh, that stays the same. Strong emotion, passion, love, or hate. So, okay, somebody probably is very fiery, has a fire sign, lots of passion inside of them. Um, hopefully this is not some somebody you battle with. I, I don't, uh, maybe it is. Maybe somebody's hot-tempered, and, and that could be the, you know, somebody's, are they the one questioning it? Questioning it. I don't know. Family matters. Oh, there you go. Maybe my example of the child was spot on. Uh, again, I think that, yes, this could be the one, but there's uh, some kind of an issue here that ha would have to be resolved or, uh, you know, you have to find a way to work with it or s something. Something here, but there are some strong emotions. Hopefully those strong emotions are this person really loves you, loves you with all their heart. That's possible. I, I can feel that for some. For others, I actually do feel like somebody's a hothead. So, you take that how it resonates. Cr 
Gratitude. Fill me with gratitude for all you give. May I be a vehicle for wherever you go. Somebody would be grateful for this relationship. Somebody would, it would make somebody extremely happy. Is that you or them? Um, I think you should just be grateful of the time that you have with this person and don't put any expectations on it and see what develops. Um, I know we're here to ask the question, but I do feel like, yeah, they could be the one. Absolutely. But I think you got to kind of take it day by day with this one. transformation things are changing at a cellular level and there's deep healing involved so okay so if this is somebody maybe you um had had a battle with you know maybe that's what that strong emotions is maybe this there was some conflict in the past uh that's healing or they're healed from it So the relationship's going to transform and lead you to the Ten of Cups. So I'm sticking with yes. I like this. Even if this isn't somebody you've fought with per se, maybe it's just somebody, you know, you're conflicted about. I, I think there's some kind of change change for the better that's happening okay oh but you got this whom do you need to forgive as you release old anger and resentment you will find that your wishes come true so maybe there was some kind of conflict in the past maybe the burden is how do you get past it how do you forgive how do you move on from it well you have faith you, you be gr grateful for the happiness that you feel when you're with them. And sorry about the puppies. And you just kind of try to release the past. It, I know it's not easy. That's, that's something hard, especially if there was a situation where there was like maybe cheating or something like that. That would, that would be really hard to get over. But they got the transformation card. So they're changing. They're healing. Maybe the relationship is healing. So maybe it is time to forgive if that is your case scenario. I think uh, I think there's an Amazon. I think Amazon was coming today, so I think uh, that's what the dogs could be going crazy over. Unfortunately, they have to ruin my videos all the time, <laughs> all the time. Fiona and the Unicorn, the gift of sacred sight. So this is just saying, trust your intuition. You know whether this is the one or not. You, you already know. So trust that intuition of yours. You have the sacred sight. You have that inner knowing. They gave it to you. They're helping you along here. And by they, I mean your angels and guides, okay? So, yeah, um... If you feel like this is your person, then I absolutely feel like they are. Feast of Plenty. Choices and their consequences. Well, cause and effect, right? Uh... It's feast of plenty though. So for me, that feels like a, this is abundant. This is like, yes, there's more than enough love here. That There's more than enough caring and consideration. There's more than enough. So yeah, I feel like you have abundance here with this relationship. So I'm going to stick with a yes. I think what that, you know, cause and effect, I think, I mean... What is it? Choice and the, the consequences. I think what they're saying is if you choose to nourish this, if you choose to put loving, positive energy into this, then that's what you're going to get out of it. You know, it's like that old 
story about the wolves, which one do you feed? Right? The one you feed is the one that you're, is, is going to, you know, win and come out on top. So are you going to feed the positive or are you going to feed the negative? In my opinion, it doesn't make sense to feed the negative. All right. So let's get, oh, let's get one more card before we get the hidden, hidden worlds card. Paradise, happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, enjoying each other. There you go. Yes, you guys can find paradise um, within each other. That's awesome. That's a, that's a huge yes card. All right. Just for the sake of it, let's get the last card is our gardens or, or, or no, Aurora, Aurora, like the, the Northern lights <laughs> begin, beginning, initiate an origin. All right, so that's making me feel like you have to uh, go back to um, the basics. Start over, start fresh, start clean. Um, begin again. So if, if this is um, somebody you had conflict with, it's time to begin again. It's time to recharge it, to, uh, to start over. You know, I feel like it's a chance to free yourself from the past. It's like a new opportunity to be reborn. So, I think that, uh, that again, this is going to be a yes for me. I think, uh, you know, beginning it's it's and it says origin so it's like you get to start fresh you get to you know start over begin again with a clean slate fresh start new look new outlook so are they the one yeah i think so do we want to pull charms or we want to pull initials i think we're pulling charms Okay. Let's see. Oh, look, you got the lighthouse and you got the northern lights. Look at that. So I think your path is already illuminated. I think you already know what to do and that this is your person. I think yes, absolutely. And I think you'll be... Uh, have a smile on your face. I think, yes, that it, this will make you happy. I think that the transformation or the changes that have been made are really beneficial. They might even surprise you in some way. All right. But yeah, I, th I think this is an excellent, excellent opportunity for you guys to just uh, have a, a, a beautiful life together. All right. That's what I have. Give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and leave me a comment. All those things help me, and I appreciate you for it. Until next time, love and light. Hi, Pile 2. If you chose Clear Quartz, then this one is your reading. Let's get your cards. High Priestess, Emperor, King of Swords. Lovers. Six of Pentacles. So, yeah, I'm going to say yes. But, again, this is something that you have to... Um, I'm going to say be logical about... You have the High Priestess and the King of Swords. That kind of scares me a little bit because sometimes... The king is kind of cold. But the emperor's here. The emperor is a little more passionate. A little more fiery.
I, I, I would, the lovers are here. Look, so absolutely, this could be your person. Uh, the lovers are usually, you know, a soulmate relationship. Six of Pentacles is here saying that you guys will be charitable with each other. You guys will have that equal give and take. So it's, yeah, I, I think, I think that this is a good relationship. I'm just trying to figure out why you're confused about it. The high priestess is saying, trust your intuition. So that means you don't know. Well, why don't you know? I mean, well, you're ask, you're here watching. And that's what, so you definitely don't know. Um, but like, why? Like, is it because they could be a little standoffish or or stoic? Maybe, maybe you're looking for a little more passion. I don't know. I'm going to have to get some more cards, but uh, so far I'm saying yes. But let's see. News is on the way. Okay. And a sincere wish will be granted. Okay. I, I just get the feeling like your person's really smart. And they're trying to make a logical decision here. But I think you're going to be hearing from them soon. If this is somebody you're with, then I still think you're going to be hearing something from them soon. Like that you're going to, they're going to surprise you with something or they're going to, you know, take it to the next level or, or something. But yeah, yeah, I, I'm still leaning Yes. A sincere wish will be granted. So what is it that you want? I mean, you're asking if this is your person. So I'm assuming you want this to be your wish. You want your person to be your the one. Faith. There you go. Have faith. Miraculously, amazingly, everything I need always comes. Love is opening me to receive beyond anything I imagine. So yeah, there's love here. Have faith that this will last. Or have faith that you guys will get back together, whatever the situation is. Just have a little bit of faith. This is going to work out. Lemuria, creating heaven on earth. Okay, so... Lemuria was paradise. It was beautiful. It was a, a, a heaven on earth here. This is saying you don't have to wait till heaven to have that again. You can create that here. We create our realities. So you can make a beautiful space for the two of you. You could create heaven on earth together. It's possible. So again, yes, my answer is still yes. Be yourself. All right. Don't try to be anybody else. Okay. They don't, they want you to be authentic here. The situation calls for you to be your authentic self, which is the basis of your personal power. So don't pretend to be somebody you're not. Be you. I think this person really values honesty. All right. So again, don't try to fake it. Feel what you feel. Be who you are. You know, and, and, Try to be as honest as possible because I think that's where they put their, their value. All right, so just be yourself. Nothing fake about you. Butterfly ferrets, I am reborn. So it's like you are ready to take on the world you are like you you gathered some strength you you're stepping into your emperor energy all right well that's good right, does that mean you're ready to go after this or ready to make a move dust devil moving out of stagnation 
All right, so uh, this is moving along. So if you guys have been in separation or if you guys have just been stagnant in your relationship um, or if this is somebody you haven't even been with yet, um, it's, it's the energy is moving out of stagnation. So it should be happening pretty fairly quickly. Heart with a key. Welcome love, meeting the one, opening your heart, getting together, perfect. Well, how not, how big of a yes could that be? <laughs> uh, yeah, how much bigger of a yes could that be is what I meant to say. Yes, the answer is yes. Yes. But because we're here, we're going to get a Hidden Worlds card anyway. Let's just see. Even though we have our answer here. We have the seer. Future prospects. Decision to make. Seeking guidance. Yes, yeah, I kind of feel like this is somebody you're not with. Like, I kind of feel like this is somebody new. Somebody you're thinking about. Somebody that you would like to be, be with. Because um, it says future prospects, right? So, yeah. I think this is somebody who's coming in. Meeting the one. All right, let's pull you some charms. Look at that. How happy are you going to be? Right? Luck is on your side. You got the lotus flower, so some peace, some harmony. You got the drum. So again, this is reminding you to... Uh, not be fake, to be who you are, to be truthful. Even if it's a little different, it's okay. It makes you, it makes you intriguing. It makes you interesting. They want to know more. It makes you mysterious. Um, unless, of course, your person's a drummer. <laughs> then the drum means that they play the drums, or you do. Uh, you have the light bulb, so... Uh, again, I think the path to you will be illuminated. You guys will figure it out. You guys will know that you're each other's person. I do feel like you guys are going to be attracted to each other. Look at that fan. Things are going to get hot. Things are going to get spicy. So yeah, I like that. I, we've got August here, so this could be coming in really, really quickly for you. Uh, if they're not here already, or things could be spicing up in August. And lastly, you got the Easter egg. Now, the Easter egg for me is usually like, um, you know, a hint or a clue. So have you been getting signs? Is that why you're asking about this person? Have you been getting some signs? Maybe that's why the high priestess is here too. So I think you already know the answer. Well, because I gave it to you. <laughs> No, but I think your spirit guides have already given it to you, too. I think you know that this is going to be a good one. All right, so uh, give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and leave me a comment. All those things help me, and I do appreciate you for it. Till next time, love and light. Okay, pile three. If you chose um, lapis, then this one is your reading. Let me get your cards here. Sorry. <sighs> here we go. Here we go. King of Cups. King of Wands. Queen of Pentacles. There's a lot of people here. Eight of Swords. Nine of Cups. Hmm. This one... I really want to say yes to because, you know, if either you or your person is a king of cups, to me that feels right. I kind of feel like there's a third party person here involved with this. So I feel like either you or your person is the king of cups, you or your person is the king of wands. And then I feel like there's a queen of pentacles here. Holding the purse strings. I don't 
don't know why I'm feeling like that. That's kind of crazy. And we're trying to figure out if this person's the one. I think that there's there's a reason to be distressed about this one. I feel like there's a... Um, you're anxious or you're... Yeah, yeah, you have concerns. I do feel like you want this to be your person. I do feel like you feel like this would be a dream come true for you. I think there's an issue though. I think the person, well, let me tell you, I can't, all right. I think this person has love for you or, or you have love for them. Whoever's the king of cups. The other one has a lot of attraction. So somebody has a lot of love. Somebody has a lot of physical passion. Okay. Now that's not to say that that person doesn't have love too. So I think somebody's very, very attracted to the other. And the other one just adores the other one. That queen of pentacles bothers me though. I think there's a queen in the mix. I, I kind of feel like it could be somebody's mother who's like, holds the purse strings, who is like, you're going to date who I want you to date or, or else, or I don't know. I don't know what this is. But there is a reason to be concerned. The Eight of Swords is here and I don't blame you. But I do feel like this is something that you would, would make you very happy. So at least you think it will. Let's get more cards and see how this plays out before I give you a definite yes. I want to say yes, but I don't know. Ooh, someone will gossip about your secrets with the parrot, muddled and unclear thinking. Yeah. Yeah, see, I think there's a there's somebody else here. I don't, this could be like a maybe a baby mama, or like I said, a parent, or um, maybe it's your boss. Maybe this is a workplace romance. There's somebody. There's a third party in the mix, and it doesn't have to necessarily be like somebody's already married and you're like the mistress. Could be. Doesn't necessarily mean that. I just feel like there's somebody else that's vested in this relationship for some reason and I don't think that they're real happy about it I don't think that they're uh, very nice which causes you to have unclear thinking you're not sure maybe that's why you came here today to see if they're the one I don't know it depends if we can handle this if we can put an end to this or uh, deal with it in some way win it over I don't know Let's see. Energetic clearing. During crisis, the Holy One herself may be emptying you of fear and attachments, preparing you to receive her luminous plan. All right, so this tells me that Spirit absolutely wants you guys together, but there's a something that's holding this this back something from not allowing it to happen so spirit's going to step in and work some magic and clear your path energetically so the clear the the path will be clear to each other so yes now after i got that card i'm thinking that it's yes i thought i think the queen of pentacles will be dealt with trust the niggle what is the niggling feeling you try to tell yourself? I don't know. What is it? It's got to be something good because if you were trust, if it was, you know, warning you against this, it wouldn't tell you to trust it if they want you to be together. So it's got to be like you really do feel like you care about this person or you really have a good feeling about this person despite the issues. So it's saying trust that. I, I really do think that they want you to gather. So. Your wish is granted. What you've asked for is coming true. All right. Maybe somebody's going on a very long vacation somewhere else. And you won't have to deal with them. Maybe they're moving out of state. I don't know. But so, uh, something's 
Your wish is being granted, so something is being dealt with. Artemis of the Forest. Now you are independent and free. I think you're free of this issue. I think you're free to, to go after what you want. All right, just follow your heart, I guess. Skybridge, possibility for union. All right, so they're saying they're making it possible for you guys to come together. You guys just have to be on the same page and take advantage of the opportunities that are going to be set in front of you. They're making it possible for you guys to come into union. Separation. Sadness, missing you, thinking about you, unsure of the future. So... You guys are probably not together right now uh, because somebody probably came between you. Unless this is somebody you don't know yet. <laughs> and you still have to go through all this. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> that, yeah, I'm sorry. That would be terrible, but it is what it is, right? Yeah, so, all right. Well, I still think that this is a big yes, at least from spirit. Let's get a Hidden Worlds card. Let's see, let's see. The Isle of Wonders. Revelation, Teaching, and Discovery. So is this like a karmic relationship here where you guys are going to be learning something? Or teaching the other something? All right, so yeah, it's about teach. This 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 is about teaching you something. It may be time to rise above and free yourself from what has held you back. All right, um, they want you to fly. They want you to they want you to spread your wings. They want you to um, to to really go after what you want. So if this is what you want, I think you're getting the green light. I think you're getting the freedom to uh, to have what you want. So I think again, this is just saying that you know they had to teach you something. Or you had to learn something. Maybe you had to learn how to deal with a certain somebody. I, I don't know. But there was a, there's a lesson here. It's meant for you. You agreed to learn it. Now you're learning it. And then you're going to get your freedom from it. Like, you're going to have what you want. So, you know, as, as a human being, if this was my reading, I'd be like, oh, I ain't dealing with that. No way. Uh-uh. Not doing it. Sorry. But from a spiritual standpoint, this needs to happen. This relationship needs to needs to uh, work. So I'd figure it out because there's something important here. It's part of your soul's journey and start part of your path. So I would try to work and figure it out. So I'm still going to say yes. Cupid's here. That means there's feelings. There's definitely feelings. I, I, you have the sewing needle. So I really do feel like you can mend something. You can fix something. This You can make this work. There's so much love here. There is. They just want you to be brave. They want you to stand tall. Put on that crown of yours. You know, just stay humble and sweet. You, you, you're going to be fine. 
right? You got a moth and a butterfly. So there's definitely some kind of change taking place. And they want you to trust your intuition with that cat. All right. The cats are highly intuitive creatures. And uh, they're saying that spirit's going to be with you and they're going to be guiding you. So I absolutely feel like this might be some kind of a karmic relationship, which karmic relationships are not necessarily bad. They are, they could be very, very good, very, very helpful. And they're certainly meant for us. So um, I would go with it. I would learn what I needed to learn and, and uh, make the best of it because it could be beautiful. There's a lot of love here, a lot of love and a lot of attraction. So uh, I just feel like somebody put a wedge. Somebody just got in between you. But it looks like spirit's going to deal with them. And then you'll be free and clear. All right, that's what I have for you. Give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and leave me a comment. All those things help me, and I appreciate you for it. Till next time, love and light.